Hi everyone, this is Carolina and welcome to another Seasonal Saturday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put this treat holder together. It actually has two parts to it, a bag of chocolate and then a little holder such as this one. So go ahead and just grab a bag of whatever treat you'd like. And this is where I actually got my holder from. It's what I eat for breakfast every morning. It's a yogurt with this granola um, container on top. I just kind of pulled it off and then I've been saving them, washing them out and saving them. So I end up with that, but you can use any kind of round holder you'd like. And then you'll need a piece of um, pattern paper measuring 12 inches by 3. And this, and then squirt it down the middle, so then it'll be easier to fold. You'll need a pencil, a ruler, some scissors, um, ribbon, actually two kinds, I just use that for that part of it. And then I went ahead and got a thinner ribbon at a gigam um, design for this little section right there, just to make it a little nicer. Then some tape, you'll need one eighth inch and one fourth inch double sided tape. And then I also didn't put them in here, but you'll need a bone folder and two pearls, a larger one and a smaller one. Okay, so go ahead and grab your pattern paper. And since it's already scored, oops, sorry, uh, one the other side. Okay, here we go. So since it's already scored, it's easier to fold. And before we go on, hold on a second, let me go grab my bone folder because you will need this for several steps. So I suggest you definitely use it. Go ahead and make that crease even tighter and, and make sure that lays flat as I'm doing here. And then you're just going to go ahead and grab it and kind of pull away from you. What we're doing here is basically breaking down the fibers of the paper. Since paper's flat and we want this to go around a circular thing, it's, easy, it's easier when to do this to the paper now and you'll see me do it at several steps um, throughout this process because trust me, you, you will thank me later. Instead, you'll be fine with it um, if you don't. So go ahead and open it up again. Grab your one fourth inch double sided tape and we're just going to lay down a strip from one side to the other side. And the reason we're doing this is because we want that paper to lay flat on itself and um, you'll see in a second. Oops, I've tore that, but it's okay. You won't see it. We'll be able to um, hide that. Okay, so go ahead and remove that double-sided tape or that covering and basically bring those sides together, making sure you have the right side facing out, as I'm doing here. And then let me trim that out and we're good to go. Okay, so again, I'm going to do the same thing and just kind of bend the paper one more time. And actually, I'll probably do one more time after this just because I want it to be as easier. The, easier, the more you do this, the easier it will be to put that around the little container. Go ahead and grab your ruler. Okay, and kind of bring it up about one inch is what I'm doing here. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. So it's about one inch in, and then with your pencil, you're going to go ahead and mark all the way down. You can draw a line if you'd like, totally up to you. I'm going to leave my marks, but you can always take them off. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm basically marking every one fourth of an inch as I did here. And grab your scissors. And you can, what I was going to say, you can always um, erase those marks if you like. I'm leaving them just so I can show you what I'm doing. So you can erase them as you go or you can erase them once you've done all your cuts. And all I'm doing is cutting up to that line right there at every mark from the bottom to that line. And remember, I'm cutting on that piece that's not taped down. So make sure you cut properly. Um, you don't want to cut the piece that you taped down because then that wouldn't work. And then once you get to the end, as I'm doing here, go ahead and grab your bone folder one more time. Let me zoom out a little bit. Take all this other stuff that you don't need. And do the same thing we've been doing. And I'm doing it again on the side we taped. Okay. Then just go ahead and lay it down. Grab your container and some tape again. And then your tape, you're going to put another strip basically over the same... Um, side that you had already put down the tape to, you know, tape them down. You're putting that again, and this is what's going to go around that container. Go ahead and remove that covering once again. And then the easiest way I found to do this, since there's really no no beginning or end to this, just go ahead and put it down. And instead of trying to 
wrap your paper around it, just move the container around the paper. Um, it's just the best and easiest way and you have more control and you'll be able to make, sh you know, make sure you're bringing it all the way down to the rim of that container. Then count about, uh, it looks like two or so overlap and cut it off. So you have a little bit of an excess. Um, you could wrap it all the way around, but there's really no need. I just kind of cut it off at about two over two of those little notches that overlap. Okay, sorry, I'm a little off screen here, but that's all I did. And now you're gonna start bending them down towards you. You can do this with your fingers, or you can grab your bone folder again, and then do that. And then just kind of put my finger and bend it as much as you know where my finger is, as you see me do here. Okay. And basically you're going to go all the way around and then take the, the tip of your bone folder and put it in between the paper so that you're basically creating volume, kind of like you would do a tool in a skirt or, you know, just um, maybe even ribbon. You're going to go all the way around and do that. Okay, so once you do that, you'll end up with something like this. Let me just do the last three here. And... That's it. That's the volume you're going to do. You can kind of basically fluff it a little more by pulling it into itself and pushing it a little bit like you're seeing me do here. You can do as much or as little as you'd like with this. It just really depends on your, you know, how, how much volume you want to do that. But let's go ahead and start by adding the ribbon. And we're almost done here. We're just uh, doing the last bits of it. And again, just grabbing. Uh, this time I'm going to actually use my 1 fourth inch tape just put in a little bit on each side and then on the other side as well and all this is doing is going to be able to have me hold down that tape and keep it in place you can even add some to the back if you'd like completely up to you I didn't specifically for this one because I'm actually tying it so I'm gonna make the knot tight enough that there's really no need go ahead and for your strip just fold it in half and this is the easiest way I found that kind of you know assures me that I'm basically putting half put it over that tape and then just bring it around And then I know that when I get to this side, I'm in the middle. And then tie it in a knot. So you'll have a little bit of excess um, left and you can just trim it off. And all I did uh, once I made my knot, is just use some scissors and trimmed it at an angle to give it a little bit uh, more shape to it on both sides. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to do the top. And this time I'm using the 1 8 inch because the gingham is a lot thinner, as is that part of the, the container, the little rim part. And as I said, um, again, just kind of move your container along, just go around and around till you get to the end. And here's where I told you, um, if you'd like, you could add a piece in the back, totally up to you. I did knot this one just because it's thinner and didn't want to do a double knot, but you're more than welcome to do so, or even a bow if you feel like doing that. And almost done here, trimming. Okay, and now go ahead and grab those two pearls. Again, two sizes, a bigger and a smaller. The bigger one over the knot. Seem to here, and then the smaller one will go over the gingham where they kind of meet up. And it's it's small but big enough that you can actually cover where they meet so it's perfect okay so that's pretty much it for your container you're done it's decorated and now we're just gonna go ahead and add the chocolate you can add a piece of tape there at the bottom if you'd like but totally up to you and with that we're completely done hope you have fun making these and as always feel free to let me know if you have any questions thanks mm -hmm.